G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass. And what I'm putting together is just a very simple series of basic hand tool usage. In start out, it's just gonna be basic hand plane usage. So what I wanna do on this first episode is show you how to actually square a board up. That is dress it on four sides, not the ends, that's the top, the bottom, and the two sides. There it is, horrible looking bit of cedar. So the wooden planes I'll be using are H&T Gordon planes, and I'll use a joining plane or triplane, and a smoothing plane. So once you're happy that your blades are nice and sharp, and the planes are tuned properly and working well, then pick up your timber and there's no right or wrong way. I prefer if I've got a cup in the timber, that's the timber's cup that way, I will plane that side first because I find it's easier to plane between the two ridges rather than planing a hump out in the back of the board. Most important though is find the direction that the grain's running on the face piece you're gonna do first. In this case, it's running this way, so I'm gonna plane from this end to that end. Put it in the vise. Now if you don't have a tail vise, you can still use a normal vise. It all depends on how big the piece is. Make sure it's nice and steady in there. Then I'm gonna start with the trying plane, or the joining plane, the longest plane. And on an angle, I'm gonna skew the plane across. You'll notice at first, it'll only cut a little bit at a time. And then as you progress into the dressing, you'll find it'll take more and more shavings. That's done a few passes and you can see where it's actually cutting and missing. So this is a hollow point. We just got to keep working on that. Now I've got most of that flat, I'm gonna go straight. And you can hear it hitting and missing. That's because I've got a bit of a belly here as well. And as I go straight, I'm cutting and each cut, when I'm coming back, I'm overlapping the cut before. And then back the other way. Now I'm getting nice full width cuts. You have a look at that now. That's all the colours through and we're reasonably flat. I've got a few ridges there from the plane. So what I'll then do is I'll change over to a smoothing plane and I'll have a fine cut on this. And you can note the difference in the tone when I'm taking a thin shaving, it's a much higher pitch than when I'm taking a thick shaving. And there we go, it's nice and smooth and it's flat. So we're gonna use this as the reference point for the rest of the procedure and just mark face on it. So that now is gonna be our reference point. With this, I'm gonna put it into the vise, and then I'm gonna shoot this edge square to this face. Put a squirt of water in your vise. That helps the wood to stick in the vise. Check which way the grain's running. Now again, I'm gonna take the longer plane, the trying plane or jointing plane. And the reason I'm taking this one, and not the smaller one, is because it's a long plane, it's gonna give me a bigger distance between points. That way, if there's a hollow here, it's gonna be resting on a high here and a high here, and we'll keep planing until we come down to that hollow. If I'm using a smaller plane, and there's a hollow here, the plane can ride down and come up, and that way you'll never get a dead straight finish on your board. So, try plane Nice strokes, and you can hear that. It's almost like a corrugation. And if you look, you can see the different colors in the timber. 
and that's what they call hit and miss. A couple more passes with this and it should be okay. And there I'm getting a full wick shaving. So I know that I'm cutting all the way along that edge. Now we've got to check to see if it's actually square. Get a square. Use this as your reference face. Put the square on there and hold it up to the light. Pretty close. There's just a fraction high on this edge here. I'm pretty happy with that. What I might do with that one, because it's such a small fraction, I'm going to use a smoothing plane and just tilt it a little bit. So I'll just plane this edge here coming off. And I can tell I'm cutting the edge because I'm not getting a full width shaving. I'm just getting a little shaving like that. Now I reckon that's going to be square. So I'm going to take one pass and I should get a full width shaving all the way across. Which I did. Now I'll hold that up to the square, hold it up to the light. And that's absolutely spot on. So now we've got two reference faces, the face and a reference edge, and we'll mark that edge as well. to be just about on the money which it is so now the acid test comes this face we haven't marked and this one should be square as well which they are so there you go as you can see it doesn't take very long to dress a board down on four sides when it comes to the end grain that's another a video I'll put out on how to shoot end grain, but that's basically how to dress a piece of timber. And for my money, look at that, it's, it's beautiful. It was quiet and I wouldn't bother turning the machine on just to dress that bit of timber. Well, that's it. How to dress a board by using two planes, whether you're using wooden planes or steel planes. Number one rule is have sharp blades and have your blades tuned. Okay, that's Steve pulling the shed door down on the first tip on hand planes and saying remember to keep it sharp, but more importantly, keep it safe, enjoy your woodwork, and in the case of hand planes, just practice. See ya.